Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steve Patterson. I'm the principal here at the middle school. Welcome to KRMS. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm going to introduce Mr. Winfrey Fenneberg. He is our superintendent of schools, and he will uh, welcome you. Thank you. So, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Kearsarge Regional School District's annual Choral Festival 2023. It's very exciting to be here in person. We haven't had this in a while, so this is very exciting. Um, excited to present the students who are singing in chorus for this celebration of music in our schools. In every culture, on every continent, since the dawn of civilization, music has been part of the human experience. Music communicates and connects people across time and cultures and allows people to find their creative and expressive voices, both individual and with others. Music is part of our identity and how we make sense of life. Here at Kearsarge, we strongly believe that one's voice is to be developed as it's the instrument that is with you at all times. Through our district's strong music program, Kearsarge students not only learn the joy of singing with others, but also learn to polish songs to a performance level and experience the satisfaction of accomplishing a concert together. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our first group to perform at our festival. Under the direction of Nicole Densmore and Matt Mitchell, singing Let There Be Music, please welcome the fourth graders.
they fantastic? Love these guys. It's so wonderful to be back after three years of not being a part of this. Um, I just love the collaboration between uh, the music departments at each of the different schools and getting to see my past students as they expand their musical horizons. The next song in tonight's festival speaks of the power of singing to lift you up. Maurice White and Al McKay wrote, when you feel down and out, just sing a song. It'll make your day. The fourth graders hope to make your day today with the choral arrangement of Earth, Wind, and Fire's chart-topping hit number, Sing a Song. Good evening, everybody. We are going to do our portion of the middle school concert. We'll be singing You Will Be Found from the Hit Rabbit musical Dear Evan Hansen. Awesome message of no matter how bad things get, you'll be found. Things will get better. Featuring three soloists, Phoenix Brown, 
Olivia Karen Bersong, and Sage McGowan. Over Sage. <laughs>
the middle school chorus under the direction of Mr. Ethan Pruitt. My name is William Lavoy. I'm the director at I'm the choral director at Kearsarge Regional High School, and this is our high school chorus at Kearsarge, and we have a couple pieces we would love to perform for you. The first one is called Sing My Child by Sarah Cordell, featuring Nora Gantner and Eli McCarthy on the solos uh, in the beginning, and then later on you will hear the voices of Thomas Shepard as well as Emma Garrity. Sing my child, sing my child. 
also want to thank Lily Landis for playing the djembe for that as well. Our next piece we'll be performing is called When the Sun Rose Up This Morning. We are now going to welcome back up Kearsarge Regional Middle School for a combined piece with the high school choir. So give us one moment as we transition.
Because we set up at the school and because we use you guys to help us advertise, all of our products are going to be about 30 to 50% off retail. Now, I can tell by some of the faces out there, especially if you're hearing about this for the first time, this sounds like kind of a weird fundraiser, right? Raise your hand if you think this is a weird fundraiser. All right. Now, do me a favor and keep your hand up if you happen to sleep on a mattress. Oh, would you look at that? Most of you, right? So the key to this fundraiser is not about you necessarily coming in and buying a new bed. It is simply about everybody in this room and everybody on the stage spreading the word, talking about it, sharing these flyers, and sharing our Facebook posts, and everywhere that you communicate, getting the word out. I know that most of you have probably never had a conversation with your neighbor about their mattress, but I guarantee that if you do, you will find that person in your network of friends who not only has a bed that they could replace, but we'd much rather support the program. Now, one thing I always say is we've been doing these in multiple communities from Augusta, Maine, out to Concord, out to here, for over 12 years now. And the way that bad news travels, especially nowadays, if there was something wrong with this fundraiser, if the products didn't hold up, if the quality wasn't there, if we didn't do the things we said we were gonna do, there is zero chance that I am in front of you right now. The communities that we work with love this event. This is an awesome way for people who are in the market for a new bed to not only save money on all of the same products, but have a cool, unique, kind of community-based way of doing this. Now, for those of you who are involved in the high school program, these flyers are gonna be more or less your golden ticket for the whole event. On this flyer is all the information people will need, time, date, location, QR code to the Facebook event page. But the most important part of this is on the bottom is a line for your student's name, and this is how they will earn credit towards the trip. Now the way this all works in terms of a payout is for every mattress that is sold, there is a payout to the program. If that customer comes in with this flyer or says the student sent me in or I know Jonathan in the band, there's a bonus attached to that fundraising sale. Every dollar raised from these flyers will go directly into your high school student's account towards the trip. So for example, if Jennifer is in band and going on the trip and her neighbor comes in and buys two queen-size mattresses, Jennifer just raised $250 towards the trip. In one single customer, in one day, and without any of you doing all the things you probably don't like to do with your traditional fundraisers. There is no door-to-door -door selling, there's no order forms. I'm not asking any of the kids to sell mattresses, that would be a disaster. <laughs> so the biggest thing that I need out of everybody in this room is to just spread the word. Again, I know this sounds strange, I know this is maybe not something that you need to replace this year, but I guarantee that if you talk about this and if you do a little bit of work to get the word out, you'll be amazed at how many people would come in to this fundraiser and help out the kids. Just to give you an idea, last year we sold 36 mattresses, raised $6,000 in seven hours. 
I work with Timberlane High School down in Plastow. They did this for the first time back in November. They sold 81 beds and made $19,000. I work with Londonderry, who typically travels every year. In five days, in five single events, Londonderry has about 200 kids, has raised over $100,000 with this fundraiser. So again, I know it sounds weird. I know most of you are like, what is this guy talking about right now? But I promise you that this works. And if everybody spreads the word, and if everybody were to do their one job of finding at least one person they know to come in, I'll be writing a check for at least $8,500 to this program on, February, or on March 25th. So I'm gonna hang out in the lobby for a bit after the show. Again, we'll get back to this awesome performance. You guys all sound fantastic, by the way. Quick round of applause for them. They sound great. So, if you have questions, feel free to ask. There'll be a bunch of other information that'll come out through Facebook and through email over the next few weeks. But your job is simple. I just need you guys to find as many people to come see me on the 25th of March and help these kids raise a bunch of money. So thank you very much, and let's enjoy the rest of the show.
to say. We have one more piece. Uh, before we perform our last number, on behalf of the entire music department, we wish to thank you and all the people that worked to help this festival together. We are very grateful for everyone's support and camaraderie. There is someone we wish to recognize in particular, though. Uh, she has been the backbone of the Kearsarge Choral Festival for many years, spending countless hours preparing the students by visiting each of the schools, sharing her love of music, and for always smiling. Please help us give an exceptional thank you to Missy Owen. Each and every one of us here truly appreciate you. Also, as a matter of procedure, we are asking you to stay in your spot until the fourth grade returns to their bleachers, where we will be dismissed from there. Middle and high school we will be uh, dismissed from the stage. Thank you again for everything, for all your support, for raising such amazing musicians and people. Thank <laughs> you.